lovely, wonderful people is happening. See what is going on right about now. Our very own brother, you know, he has been speaking, Ayo Adebanjo, he has been speaking with regards to Tinubu, and we all know that he is not a big fan of Tinubu. In fact, he told everyone just before the election that his preference for the presidential election was Peter Obi, and he was not missing words. He said it without even, you know, without even looking at anyone. He said it quite clear that this was what it is. And, um, you know, that brought about a lot of disagreement between himself and the former leader, you know, and many things have happened. Currently, as we speak at, at this point in time, he speaks on, you know, his relationship with the president of Nigeria because a lot of persons are saying he does not like Tinubu, he's an enemy of Tinubu and all that. And this is why he's making real clarification in all of these areas. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe as Ayo Adebanjo tells Nigerians, you know, what is really going on and, you know, um, how things have been. The leader of the Yoruba Social Cultural Group, Afeni Ferry, Pa Ayo Adebanjo, has described President Bola Metinubu as his son and not his enemy. Adebanjo, however, noted that his disagreement with Tinubu politically is just based on politics Yes, we disagree in politics does not mean he's my enemy. There is no such thing as enemy. I don't just agree with who he is politically and what he represents. Speaking at an event in Lagos on Tuesday, the Afeni Ferry leader said Chinubu was a loving young man who has never refused to greet him or grant him any favor because of their disagreement. Adebanjo pointed out that the dif the difference in the area the different the difference they have is in area of national questions he said anybody should be concerned about the unity of the country about the progress of this country it doesn't make or tell that person that you are an enemy no there's no enemy in all of this it is just a simple it is just a simple uh position in ensuring that the right things are done and everybody have their political preference. Until we change this constitution, we go nowhere. And that is what I'm urging him to do. I beseech you, anyone who is a nationalist who loves this country today, should practically do what is right. Bola Ahmed Tinubu is there now, declared president by INEC. He must work. I am happy Professor Banji Akinyemi is here. You are Tinubu's friend. I am not his enemy. He's my son. The only difference we have is that we disagree politically. That's all. Nobody should bring any other thing into it. He's a loving young man. I have never asked a favor that he has rejected or he has never refused to greet me because of our disagreement. And that's admire about him. It's as simple as that. But politically, I do not agree with what he stands for. So, and I, I totally sincerely get you, sir. You know, Ayo Adebanjo is speaking from his heart. He said, politically, uh-uh, we are no friends. Politically, you know, see, there's no friendship in regards to him and uh, Tinubu. They disagree a lot on a lot of questions, you know, with a lot of things going on that there's a lot of disagreement. Yes, he said, but the truth of it is that he does not have anything against Tinubu. He has absolutely nothing against Tinubu other than the fact that you know, his own political preference, you know, his his heart and what he sees this nation becoming, you know, um, for him, he does not think Tinubu is that one that fits in, square in, you know, round pegs and square who making sure that things are done properly and that the nation move forward. He does not think or feel Tinubu have that capacity, okay, to put those things you know, in place. And that is why he has his political preference and that should not be, you know, a problem because everybody is allowed, you know, to pick a candidate of their choice. As it stands at the moment, Bayo Adebanjo says, Tinubu is not my enemy. There's no enmity there. In fact, he greets me wherever he sees me. If I ask for anything from him, he grants me. But politically, we are not friends, you know, and um, he's an elder and he's saying the truth is not like uh, some people who will speak with one thing with one mouth and another breath say something else and another, with another mouth. He said, no, 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 that, that is not the case at all. That between him and Tinubu, there is no, there are no gray areas. 
friendship, you know, that they are not enemies. The only thing is that politically they do not agree, you know. And I, I quite, I, I get that. I get it. Politically, there's no friendship, but you know, in looking at things, we, you know, we respect to how you view and what you think should be happening to the nation. They have their variance and how you know they see things and how things should be going. And so every single person is basically, you know, waiting patiently to see, you know, what will be happening next in a couple of, you know, weeks to months to years in making Nigeria a better place. You know, Ayo Adebanjo, he has his own preference, you know, and, and that should not be a deterrent to, you know, anybody coming out to say, you know, this is what I prefer. It should not be a problem. It should not be a problem at all. If someone, pre if someone prefers A rather than B, it should not be, there should be no issue about that at all, you know. So these are some of the things that are happening and every one of us, you know, are beginning to really stand up and take a real position in ensuring, you know, that the right things are done. And whatever happens, Nigerians, the days are upon us for us to ensure that we do everything, humanly speaking, possible. Payo Adebanjo is just speaking, you know, based on, okay, you know, uh, you know, based on what he thinks and um, how things are going and what he sees. He says, you know what, we must just ensure that the right things are, we, we must bring, you know, we must have, a, of course, we have our political differences. We must not all now align because, you know, uh, we are in, we have the same tribe or all those tribalism is what has brought Nigeria to where it is today. And I, I respect his I respect his view and his opinion, and I don't think that should be you know something that you know people should now uh, you know go ahead and begin to you know uh, get all get all carried away by saying ah uh ah -uh, are you are you shifting camp no 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 that's not what he's saying he's not saying he's shifting camp he's only stating the obvious that there is really nothing there's really nothing between us you know there's really nothing. That you can hold and say, ah, you know, this is no, no. Say, so there's really nothing, you know. Say, so the only thing there is that we all just have to, you know, rise up and ensure that we have the right people because Nigeria needs to work. Nigeria needs to work like yesterday. Nigeria needs to work. A lot of things are happening. People are suffering, you know. That's why the Jackpot syndrome is there. People want to run. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Bye for now.